What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. This is the Gist in 96 for the sign of Leo. This will resonate to have Leo in any aspects of your chart. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, ortho, moon, haven, or Jupiter charts. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, that apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate. Leave the rest. Free general collective reading. The Gist in 96 for sign of Leo. This can resonate if you have Leo in any aspects of your charts. I encourage everybody to check out at least their Sun, Moon, Rising signs for additional message or messages if they do apply for you. Um, love you guys so much. Thanks for all the uh, love and support to the channel. Thanks for all the shares of my content on social media and word of mouth. It's really helping my channel grow. And I have another channel called hashtag LEO, capital L-E-O-G-A-N-G, exclamation point, Leo Gang. If anybody's interested in that channel as well, um, it's a Leo-based Leo based and aspected channel over there if anybody's interested. All right, Leo. So this is for um, uh, tentative energy pulling for the next four days. This could resonate if you have Leo in any aspects of your charts. Of course, it's a general reading, free general collective, uh, gen free general reading for sign of Leo. So only take the messages that resonate, leave the rest. Okay. Um, I did receive a channel message as I was meditating on your energy for the gist of 96. I heard a uh, a water sign and a Libra is about to try to drag a Leo into some serious criminal shit that they that they did in the past. It would be very smart not to communicate with this water sign of your past and this Libra of your past. For some, it is an ex-co-worker. For some, it is your neighbor. For some, it is um, a family member. So you plug it in how it resonates. It is a water sign, masculine or feminine water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio of your past, whether it's your neighbor, it sounds like your current neighbor, um, or um, your family member, I'm assuming an estranged family member, because I heard of the past, or a ex-co-worker of the past, or a Libra, whether the Libra is your current neighbor or former neighbor, for some I feel like we former neighbors too, because I heard there are your past. So current or foreign, current or former neighbor, a family member, an estranged family member. I'm feeling, I'm feeling you probably hadn't talked to them in years or communicated with them in years or what have you, what have you. And um, but you plug it in how it resonates, or an ex coworker of your past. Libran, masculine or femme Libran, masculine or femme. Um, Water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, whether it's your current or former neighbor, your family member, or ex coworker. Okay. For one, it is a dirty cop. For one, it is a dirty cop. For one, it's a dirty cop. And for one, it's a dirty cop. So you plug it in how it resonates. But they're about to try to pull you in to some shasty shit they did in the past. So they did this in the past, but now they want to pull you into it, Leo. For one, it's a dirty cop. So however you interacted with this dirty cop, um, all, everybody knows your own situation and stories. So you have to plug it in how it resonates. But for one, it's the dirty cop. I heard it would not be smart to interact or communicate with them. So it sounds like you are out of energetic space with these people and you do not have to communicate with them if you don't want to. Um, as long as, you know, as long as you're staying to yourself, obeying the laws and not getting, you know, to keep it to yourself and not... Um, there's no reason to arrest you or what have you, what have you. Um, and you're doing everything you're supposed to be doing as a normal citizen. Just saying, just saying. But it's something they did in the past, but now they want to drag you into it. It sounds like because it's about to come around for them. It is about to come around in a huge way. It is about to come around in a huge way is what I heard. It's about to come around in a huge way. So it's about to come around and I heard... It's about to come around in a huge way. So it's about to come bite them in the butt, basically. But they want to drag you into it. But I heard you didn't have anything to do with it. But they want to drag. Now, if for some Leos, you might have had something to do with it. But for whoever this Leo is, you didn't have anything to do with it. Um, so I heard to be smart to, not to communicate, okay? Only you know your situation and story, not anybody else, okay? Temperance upright, two of swords upright, five of wands reverse. For some, you could be dealing with Sag, or you could have Sag in your chart. This is temperance energy, Sag energy, whether you have Sag in your chart or you're dealing with the Sag. Balance. A Leo has found balance in their life. P. 
peace and tranquility. Others do not like this. There is no conflict here. Okay, so for one of you guys, you found bit balance, peace, and tranquility in your life, and others do not like this. Um, but you, you, Leo, whoever you are, you can, you can be masculine or feminine. Leo, you can have Leo in any aspects of your charts, but whoever I'm speaking to here, I feel these people want to drag you into something very dirty and nasty and shisty from the past, but I heard it'd be smart, so for download, not to speak to these people. But whoever you are, You've found balance, peace, and tranquility in your life, but other people don't like it. I think it's these people that don't like it. And it's sad. Because it sounds like these people feed on drama. And creating chaos in people's lives, which is sad. Um, but it sounds like you have energetically separated yourself from these people, which is very smart. So balance, peace, and tranquility is the temperance energy. I feel you're about to have a lot of decisions coming up here with two of swords. I heard you don't uh, you don't have conflict in your life. There's no conflict and chaos. You found balance, peace, and tranquility. So you have well, you have energetically cleared people out of your life, or physically cleared people out of your life, or a combination of both. I think you're only around happy, tranquil, peaceful people. Is what I feel because it's five of wands reverse. No chaos, no conflict. But it sounds like you have created this yourself. Um, and I feel for some of you guys, you've done a lot of work to do this. But it looks like you're about to have a lot of decisions coming up here. Um, how that resonates and applies. Let me see if I hear anything else. A cancer is about to bring the gavel down on some people. Know this. Through many series of chain of events. And a cancer is about to be jailed. Oh, my God. Okay, so we have two heavy Cancerian energy. Very heavy Cancer energy. Uh, it can be masculine and Cancer. They can have Cancer in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, or them, and Hamish, Jupiter charts. How that resonates in a plus Leo. But at least two Cancers in here. And I heard one's going to bring the gavel of justice down. So I feel for one, they could be a judge. I mean, I don't know of anybody that's able to bring the gavel of justice down on somebody if they're not a judge. And that's just the truth. So, and I... I pull in heavy judge energy in here from time to time, especially in cancers. Many signs, but especially cancers. I pull in some in Leos and cancers and Aries, um, but especially cancers. So I feel it probably is a cancer judge. I'm just being serious. But there's a cancer out there in the universe that is about to bring the gavel of justice down on several folks. I think these people, um, it's about to benefit you in a huge way. It's about to benefit you in a huge way. It's about to benefit you in a huge way, Leo. So this cancer, masculine or feminine cancer, I feel they're a cancer judge. I didn't hear specifically they are, but I intuitively feel they are. I don't know if anybody else, any profession out in the universe that's able to bring a gavel of justice down on somebody unless they are not an ordained judge um, and proclaim to do so. And I'm just being serious. Um, but um, I heard it's going to benefit you in a huge way. If they're not a judge, there's some other type of situation to where they're able to Bring justice upon people. I strongly feel as a judge. And for one cancer, I heard they're about to go to jail. And that, it sounds like that's going to benefit you in a huge way too. It could be mass with them cancer. They can have cancer in any aspects of their charts. But you don't want no chaos, no conflict, no drama, um, whoever you are. And you have already brought balance, peace, and tranquility into your life. About to be some decisions to be made. Some very important decisions soon. Information is coming to the light. Very publicly. It's benefiting you in a huge way. Okay, I heard very important decisions soon. Information is coming to the light very, uh, very publicly. So information is coming to the light very publicly, I think, regarding you or a situation of you or something of that nature, um, Leo. And I heard it's about to benefit you in a huge way. You're about to have huge decisions to make. Um, I think important, huge decisions. Uh, I think it's going to bring balance, peace, more balance, peace, and tranquility in your life because you don't like the chaos, conflict, and drama. And I think for some of you guys, it has to do with these people uh, about the gavel of justice about to be handed down, um, brought down. And a cancer, masculine or femme cancer, is about to go to jail. I'm just saying, just saying. Now, whoever this cancer is and however that resonates to you, Leo, okay? A very important court situation, 
a cancer light in a, a court and court situation. Supposed domestic violence. The tables are about to turn on them in a huge way. You were indirectly involved in this. Okay, so, okay, heavy cancer energy in here? Holy crap. So, some kind of cancer lied in a, it sounds like a already had court situation. It sounds like in an actual court of law in, in the past. So, past energy. So, a masculine within cancer, they could have cancer in any aspect of their charts. But it sounds like the court situation already occurred in the universe. They It already occurred, and I heard they lied. So, they perjured on the sand. They perjured on the sand in the court of law. Um, I heard in some kind of supposed domestic violence situation, but I heard um, evidence, evidence. Okay, so there's some kind of evidence that they have perjured themselves in some shape, form, or fashion. I heard you were indirectly involved, Leo. So you were indirectly involved, but there's some kind of evidence. And I heard soon the tables are about to turn on that cancer and might be the one that's about to jail. But uh, it sounds like they, they were claiming domestic violence either on you or somebody you're connected to, but there's some kind of evidence proving otherwise for the cancer, if that makes sense. So now the tables are about to turn on them, and it sounds like that's why they're about to jail in one situation. Now, maybe in another situation, a cancer is about to get jailed for something else, but that's one specific situation. So only, I heard you were indirectly involved with it, so um, you have to plug yourself in where you fit, Leo, but I heard it's going to uh, benefit you. It sounds like behind the scenes in a huge way. I love you guys. Everybody have a wonderful day. I hope this helped, and as always, if um, you share my content. I really, really, really appreciate it. Love you guys so much and namaste.